So this is one drug that is actually underrated and doesn't get the credit that it should actually get. So I decided to do a video on it. Grab a piece of paper and let's go. Hello and welcome to MK's Medical Review Series. My name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. This is his on my YouTube channel where we look at medical topics in depth. Today we're going to be looking at dextrose. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon so you can be never missing such amazing content every time I post. Drop a comment, drop a like to show some support. I like to refer to this as the wonder drug because patients can be coming in literally at the brink of death. You check their blood sugar and you realize that they're hypoglycemic, you give them some dextrose and all of a sudden they actually are resuscitated. So generally, this is quite an important drug. And we're going to be using it in the treatment of severe hypoglycemia, which is going to be defined in many different ways, according to different places where you are, even in the same hospital. For example, in the ICU, it would be a blood sugar that is less than 3.5 millimoles per liter, while in other areas, it can be a blood glucose that's less than 3 millimoles per liter. True hypoglycemia in some places could be considered as less than 2.6 millimoles per liter, while in other places, it can be considered as a blood sugar that's less than 3.3 millimoles per liter. But what you must go with generally is less than 3.5, you must treat this patient. Moreover, if they are symptomatic. Remember that it comes with different formulations. You have what is known as dextrose 50%, which is known as D50, dextrose 25%, D25, dextrose 10%, D10, and dextrose 5%, D5, reducing in concentration as shown on the particular slide. Now, what is very important is that when we say that something is 50%, when we express a concentration of a substance in percentage, what we really mean is that the grams of that drug divided by 100 mils. Let me give you an example here. So when you say 50% here, it means that there are 50 grams in 100 mils. So if we're changing this to milligrams, remember we multiply by 1,000, so that's going to be 50,000 divided by 100 mils. So it means that each mil will give you 500 milligrams of dextrose if you have a 50% solution. Same thing with the 25%, you have 25 grams per 100 mil, which is equal to 25,000 milligrams per 100 mil, which is equals to 250 milligrams per mil of 25% dextrose. 10% is the same, it will result in 100 milligrams per mil. 5% is the same, it will result in 50 milligrams per mil. This is very important for you to remember. Dextrose is going to be given IV, so generally slowly over three to five minutes. It acts very quickly in about 20 to 30 seconds. You will actually see the onset of action. And often we must use a large vein and a large caliber needle because it's quite viscous and it actually even is quite sticky. Sometimes it may be very difficult, especially to draw the 50% using a smaller caliber needle. So often we would advise that you draw it using actually the needle of a cannula. Never give it IM or subcutaneously give it IV. Sometimes it can be given orally, sometimes via NGT, but that's in extreme cases where you can actually get access to the veins in cannulating a patient. Sometimes we can actually even administer it intraosseously. Remember that the 50% dextrose is quite viscous, it's thick, so it can sometimes cause irritation, especially in children and newborns. So in those populations, we often use 10% dextrose. Now you may ask, who exactly is a child? And there are different definitions out there. One common one in our country is people that are less than 16 years old are considered as pediatric patients. But for the purpose of this lecture, I want you to divide them into predominantly two main groups. Of the newborns, those that are less than 3 kg, and you have the children that are between 3 to 37 kg. So the implication is that if someone is above 37 kg, they're actually considered as an adult. So what is a dosage? In adults, we give 1 to 2 mils of 50% dextrose. In pediatrics and neonates, 3 to 5 mils of 10% dextrose. And remember, for those that are extremely low birth weight, we can even give them 5% dextrose. Um, then for older children, 5 mils per kg of 10% dextrose. Avoid giving dextrose to patients with head injury because it's actually neurotoxic. It causes osmotic shifts of 
fluid and can cause secondary brain damage. So you only give it if your patient with head injury is actually hypoglycemic. Side effects include vein irritation, which may cause pain and redness. You may also have some severe tissue damage, especially if it extravasates, it may result in tissue necrosis. Now, lastly, this one is quite important because you find yourself in a situation where you are on the ward, in a pediatric ward, your child is hypoglycemic, but you don't have 10%. The only thing that you have is 50%. So how then are you going to make 10% from 50%? And this is a very practical thing, especially for those that are in the deep outskirts of town. So one formula that I want you to remember is, remember if you want to dilute something, you need to find what is known as a dilution factor. So your available concentration divided by your required concentration minus one will give you the dilution factor, meaning that how many times are you going to dilute this for you to get this actual concentration? How many mils of a certain solution are you going to add? So for example, if we need 10%, but we only have 50%, so what is our dilution factor? So the, required, the available concentration is 50%. The required concentration is 10%. 50 divided by 10 is are going to be 5 minus 1 is going to be 4. So it means your dilution factor is 4. So for every one part of dextrose, 50%, you have to dilute it with something that doesn't have dextrose in it. So every one part of dextrose, 50%, you dilute it with, for example, four parts of water for injection. So if you have 10 mils of 50% dextrose, it means you need to add 40 mils of sterile water for injection to make up 50 mils of 10% dextrose, which you can administer to your child. If you have 50 mils of 50% dextrose, it means that you're going to add 200 mils of sterile water for injection to make up 250 mils of 10% dextrose. I hope that makes sense. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the bell notification icon so you never miss on such amazing content every time I post. To Zambia and beyond, my name is Dr. Moses Kazevu. Until next time, bye-bye.